Welcome, folks, to downtown Atlanta and Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of this year's Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl and, of course, part of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover and another team that's battle-tested already off one playoff victory. As we'll see the number 11 seed in this playoff, the Texas Tech Red Raiders taking on the number three seed in the playoff, the Florida Gators. Three day sports college football. I'm Chris Fowler. You're in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. Only one team here can keep their championship dreams alive. Quarterback still with the football. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Hand it off for a draw. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, this defense is stepping up here early in this game, really controlling the line of scrimmage. Just nowhere to go on this last play. And now we've got a third down, a big opportunity for this defense to get off the field. And he'll drop back here on third down. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. And the junior decides to pick up the first down himself. Set a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. On the run, he'll let it go. Oh, it's incomplete. Almost a disastrous play here on the opening drive. It's going to bring up second down. Looking for some space. It's Daniels. Seven-yard gain sets up a third and three. Ready, Looking to pick up the first down through the air. He's going to take off. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, the defense does a good job of pressuring the quarterback, but... First and ten here, looking to throw the ball. He lets it go on the move. He's a wide open receiver, complete. An explosive game, big play, moves the ball inside the 40. First down and ten. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. He'll avoid the sack, but is brought down after a short game. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Quarterback pre-snap adjustments now for this defense. They look to throw it here on second down. Finding some room with the 25. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The Gators looking to take advantage of the red zone trip here. First down, we're going to throw the ball. And they'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. After the incompletion, QB tries it again on second and ten. The pocket breaking down. Down he goes. A sack. 
Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. He just can't take the sack. Through one period, these teams are finding out that playoff games just feel different. Who can handle the nerves better as we head to the second? Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Quarterback looking to scramble. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Love to see quarterbacks try. Off the play fake on first down. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. From the gun, he looks for an open man. They got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Well, the defense will not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. The quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. He's moving out of the pocket now. Looking to scramble now. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. He's found some room at the 45. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback checks the defensive look, makes some adjustments. Looking to pass here on second down. Makes a quick catch. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Fine time. Moving to his left. Finding a bit of space. And he made the tackle, but that's a huge chunk play on the scramble. He saw an opening and just went for it. And the Gators will have first and ten here. A pre-snap motion from the offense. Trying to extend the play. He'll throw it now. He's got it. Looking for the end zone. Brought down at the five after the completion. Defense getting pushed back. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Quarterback escapes the pocket. He's got it near the end zone. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Escapes the sack. On the move, looking deep. And he is wide open for a huge game. They get him down, but that was the kind of explosive chunk play this offense has been looking for. First and ten play coming up. Buying time now, rolling to his left. Finds room at the 30. And they finally make the stop, but that's a huge gain in the scramble. He found some space and just went for it. The Gators looking to cash in this red zone trip. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. And it's caught. Touchdown. First down. We're going to throw the football. He's running out of time here. Here's the second down play. You snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. On the junior gets home making a sack there. And a the player is down injured after that last play. Let's take a timeout or then check him out. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Looks like he's going to run it. Fighting off the defender. That's a nice scramble there. A big gain, but not enough for the first down. 
There's the advantage there, obviously. They'll run it out of the shotgun. It's a two-yard game, second and eight. That's just not a whole lot of options here for this quarterback on the RPO. The defense give him credit. They did a nice job of sniffing it out. I wouldn't be surprised if the quarterback is second-guessing that decision of giving it to the back instead of pulling that and either running it himself or maybe making a nice throw. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. He's good as he throws it. And it's incomplete. Even in a first down throw, he was under some heavy pressure. Second down after that previous play. Well, this quarterback's trying to do everything he can to give this play a chance. He gets out of the pressure off to his right. But man, did he take a hit. He wasn't able to complete this pass. The Gators are moving quickly down the field. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Pressure is coming. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. That sack sets up a second down and long. Offense looking to throw the ball. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. He bought some time, now lets it go. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They tackle him at the three, but that's a great gain on the pitch and catch. And the Gators try to punch it in. It's first and goal. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And tackled there by the defense. And right, second down and goal now for this offense. Well, when you're defending this offensive coordinator, you have to be ready for anything. This is not something I'd expect to see down. And he runs it into the end. Makes a quick grab. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football there with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Well, there's nothing like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of the quarterback trying to throw a football. And on this play, they end up flushing him out to his left. Contact. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. A lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one. -on -one. Ready, set. Alert, alert. Logger, logger. They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. Well, this is where you really rely on your offensive line. Late the game, you got the lead. You got to run the football. They know you're going to run the football. Get behind that big offensive line, run that running back, make sure he protects the football. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Picks up the first and is still going. Brought down after 40, that'll be a first down. The Gators come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. Now I like the run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them. And the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Hey, it's a 
Great job of this defense of retaining the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Okay, Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two minute warning. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Defense is coming after him. Tries to right with a quick throw. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. They can put the game away right here. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground trying to power in for the touchdown. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. See if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Fire. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Urgency here in the fourth quarter, they must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. Good pass, here comes a jet sweep. Touchdown, Florida. This offense really clicking. Well, Kirk, this quarterback told us this is my time to shine. A playoff game. He has gone out and backed that up so far. Ready, set. And with this one wrapped up, the quarterback will just take a knee. So the win streak continues, but this team could have gone either way after that loss. They have regrouped and responded really well. Yeah, I think it's important to reference that loss, Chris, from a few weeks ago, but that's now a distant memory. This team right now is firing on all cylinders, and it's going to be exciting to see how they close out the season and see if they can make a run and see if they can make it tough on the CFP committee on whether or not they get a shot. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.